Hey, it's Hannah here. Now we actually get asked quite a lot of questions about using reward-based training for, um, you know, dealing with the kind of uncomfortable or even painful situations for your horse. Um, just because, you know, people ask whether it works, whether it causes conflict for your horse, all of these different things. And these are great questions to consider. Um, now the first thing I'd say is that if you can get your horses your horse to um, co cooperate willingly in these procedures, it's so much better than the alternatives. You don't have to force them, you don't have to use gadgets, don't have to use you know, like twitches and things. Um, and obviously it's so much safer for both of you when your horse isn't fighting it, it's less scary for your horse um, and it does make the whole process easier. But there are some things to bear in mind and the main thing is that you make sure that your horse has a really great relationship with you in the training overall. So one of the mistakes that people can make is to use reward-based training for helping their horse do lots of things that they find difficult. So that might be going out on their own when they've got separation anxiety or um, always using it when they have a problem. Um, and obviously that can mean that the whole of the training starts to become associated with all of these kind of difficult things and you don't get the right emotional associations. Whereas with all of my horses, and obviously we recommend this to our students as well, that the vast majority of the stuff that you do wants to be totally positive. So that your horse really enjoys it, that they've got a choice, that it's really rewarding. And this creates a really great attitude for um, cooperation overall because your horse is expecting it to be good, they've got trust in you, trust in the, the process. And you can see in this video that that's exactly what Khalil is showing. So here Khalil had a wound on the side of his face I needed to, to tend and you can see when I went straight up to his face he threw his head up and that would have obviously led to a bit of a fight. So instead what I did was uh, broke it right down and made it a bit more of a game, things that he knew, getting him to, to target things, getting uh, rewarding him for standing still while I touched the side of his face. And um, you can see within a quite a short time he actually just was able to stand with his head still for me to cut the scissors, uh, to cut the bandage off with the scissors and this was purely because he's got a really great relationship with the training he understood how it works um, and I broke it back down to things that he understood so um, it worked really well to get his cooperation to help deal with his wound in a really stress-free manner. This next video shows my mare India and um, being injected. Now when she was a yearling she injured her shoulder really badly and had to have an awful lot of veterinary care including a lot of injections and a lot of being sewn up and things and as her that was her first ex real experience with vets and as a result she hates injections <laughs> so this next little video showed the um subsequent her reaction the subsequent time a vet came to try and give her an injection so just kind of going up and touching her neck starts to show some of the reactions that we were getting and i mean this is very mild to how she was reacting when somebody else was doing it with a needle, so um, that's kind of our starting point of <laughs> being able to, to get her to stand for injections. So as that was a very mild hint of what she'd been showing when the vet had been trying to do it, uh, needless to say, the vet went away without being able to inj inject her. So it was really vital that I worked on um, being able to get her cooperation for being injected. And the way that I did that with her was to use a stationary target. And the stationary target was something she knew really well already, that she had a great um, history with, and it became both a cue for her to be able to say she was ready to be injected, so she'd put her nose on the target to basically kind of say, okay, now I'm ready. And also, um, it became a bit of a comfort blanket that this was something that was really highly reinforced. So the target was really strongly reinforced away from the injections, and so that as we brought it into the injections, it brought those good emotional, emotional associations with it. So this video shows... Um, a few weeks later with my uh, wonderful vet who had come and done a couple of training sessions as well but this was the first time she was injected um, after the training using the stationary target. All right, I think you can Now. 